Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to be going over a team building guide for the pure Saiyan category. Now, there is a lot to go over. We're literally just going to be talking about this Vegeta card, and we have a whole bunch of different types of teams you can go over just because of the categories he's part of. His best linking buddies, who you could run him on, Mono Agility, Pure Saiyans, Universe Survival Saga, and Realm of Gods. And then when it comes to Pure Saiyans, there's just so many damn different things you could look for. So uh, sit tight. We're, this is going to be, I'm going to try and keep this under 15 minutes if I can. Uh, and let's go ahead and jump into it. So uh, first off, I did not pull this card so far as a 429 2018. I have not pulled. I do not have any more Dragon Stones left. I used the rest of them on, my Eld on the Elder Kai banner. Um, and on the JP side, I ended up picking up um, some more stones for the Elder Kai so I can get the rest of them. Yes, I did buy some stones on my free-to-play account or send my free-to-play account. This is like my fish account because I like my, my global side's Dolphin. But anyway, um, except a Pride Super Saiyan God Vegeta Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta. Leader abilities, pure saying category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus, oh, sorry, HP and a defense plus 170%, attack plus 130%, super attack gamma, burst flash, causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. It's passive skill, simulated, uh, stimulated pride, attack plus 120%, and defense plus 60%, launches two additional attacks, not super attacks, and defense plus 7% with each attack performed up to 70%. So 10 attacks total will give him a full defensive boost of, what is that, 70 plus 60 is 130%. When conditions are met, he will evolve. Now he's an agility, so remember he has a built-in additional if you give that to him. Uh, if you don't have any dupants, it's going to go off very, very little, but it can go off. That additional can be a super, but the other two are not supers. So uh, keep that in mind. Link skills are prodigies, super saiyan, royal lineage, warrior gods, prepared for battle, tournament of power, and fierce battle. So he has some pretty standard Vegeta links that a lot of the Vegetas have. So we're going to be able to do a lot of good linkings. Categories again, Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, and Pure Saiyans. His max stats are HP of 12,320, attack of 10,052, and defense of 6150. And if you jump all the way to the max stats, they are 16,920, attack of 15,052, and defense of 11,550. Um, his evolution, starting from turn 4, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta has a 30% chance to become a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta Evolved. So when he evolves, when he gets to this form, he stays there. Um, immense damage greatly lowers defense. His new passive skill, Consolidated Mind, attack and defense plus 130%. Launches, and that, that um, I'm pretty sure that includes the other buffs that he got to the defense. I have not been able to verify that, so if you guys do are aware of that, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if I do find out officially what that hap what happens with the additional 70% defensive buff, I will pin it in a comment below, so make sure you look out for that um, in the future if you happen to be here like in a couple months from now or whenever. Um, he launches two additional attacks, Neither of them are supers, with a chance to perform a critical hit plus 10% with each attack performed up to 70%. So he needs to do, he will do seven attacks, so three attacks total. Um, so in two turns, or two two turns, and then by the third turn, he's almost always going to be critting. Well, 70% critical is a really high chance. So that's phenomenal. Uh, link skills are prodigies, super saiyan, royal lineage, warrior gods, prepare for battle tournament power, and he gets fierce, well, he still has fierce battle. Um, same categories, his max stats stay the same. 30% chance of evolve starting at change, uh, stage 4. Oh, and a 12 key multiplier of 150%. This is really awesome. This is really epic. I really enjoy I really love this card. I really wish I had it. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the team building. We're about 4 minutes into the video, so let's just jump into it. Uh, as you see over here, this is all of his best linking buddies. 4 or more. There's nothing with 5. Everyone is just 4 link skills, period. Uh, and the bottom left, you have all the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus. Uh, you have the two, well, two of the Super Saiyan 3 Vegetas. My, one of my favorites, the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Bulma card. Our four Link skills over here, hell yeah. Uh, Genius, Super Saiyan, King's Blood, or uh, Royal Lineage, and Prepared for Battle. So that's awesome. Three key and 20% attack buff. The two buff trunks, and then the all of the other trunks up over here. So you have a whole bunch of, so essentially, the trunks, is, the Vegetas, and the Gokus um, all link very well with him. Now keep in mind, on him, his team, if he's a leader... These Trunkses will not come into play because they are hybrid Saiyans. They will not get his buff. But if you're doing a super type team, they can. So a lot of these guys are really good to personally. I'd probably just link the Super Saiyan God Goku with him, but we'll see what happens. Um, in terms of a mono agility team, you have the two Ka the Kaioken Goku and the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. You have the Super Saiyan God Goku. You have Super Vegito. You have the Gotenks. You have Khalifla, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and the regular Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Uh, super Saiyan 4 Vegeta notably, because if you're going to be running a mono agility, you're probably going to be using him as a leader. Um, 
Super Saiyan. Uh, so he had attack plus 10%, attack plus 15 for fierce battle, and prepare for battle. Not a bad person to run alongside of him. Obviously, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is not going to be getting his ultimate potential unlocked. He still doesn't have a really good linking buddy for agility, other than maybe Tora. Uh, but that's about it. Khalifla is going to be about the same thing over here. She, except she doesn't have fierce battle, so you're going to have uh, power compensation, attitude, uh, prepared for battle, and Super Saiyan. So that's that fi uh, five key and ten percent attack buff. That's nice. You're probably never going to run the the actual Goten over here or Gotenks over here. Super Saiyan prepared for battle, fierce battle. Super Vegito, though, might be a little bit more common for you to run alongside of him. Uh, it's a 25% attack buff and 2 key. Super Saiyan God Goku or Super Saiyan God Ku card. Um, you have God Gentleman or Godly Power, Fierce Battle, and Super Saiyan. So that's, what, 20-35% attack buff? And then you have the God Goku cards, uh, which is essentially the same thing, but you get key plus 2. And, yeah, key plus 2. So you get prepared for battle with those two. So you get 25% or 35% attack buff and key plus 2. So honestly, I'd probably still run the Super Saiyan God Goku card over here, Super Saiyan Blue Goku card that's up over here, just because he's most likely going to be the best one you could run alongside of him. Um, maybe I could just do this. Yeah, okay. So this is a little, this is still a little bit better. Um, but yeah, this is the card that I'm that I'm gonna probably say is still gonna be number one for you to link with alongside this Vegeta. Uh, one of the best ones you can do. So now we move over here to the Realm of Gods category. Uh, as you see over here, everything's pretty much the same in terms of a lot of his linking buddies. All the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus are in the top right. You have the Super Saiyan God Goku cards that are over here. Um, they're all pretty much the same. There's nothing really special about them other than their linking buddies. Uh, Super Saiyan Godly Power and Fierce Battle, which is across the board for all of them. Uh, the Ultra Instinct Goku is here, which is prepared for battle. Uh, was it Power Compensation and Super Radiant or Fierce Battle? So you have um, prepared for battle, fierce battle, and power compensation or a tournament of power. Uh, then you have the two roses over here. So you're going to have th uh, two of them, which is essentially with a 25% and two key. I'm pretty sure this one's 25%. Yep, two key as well. Then you have Super Vegito, which is going to be 20% and two key. The other Super Vegito Blue is going to be, yep. Well, actually, the so the LR one doesn't really link that well with it. Well, does, I'm not going to say it doesn't link well. It only 25, 20% uh, attack buff. The Technique Vegito Blue. Um, that is, what, 35% attack buff, and the physical one is 25% uh, attack buff and 2 key. So the physical one might be a little bit better because you do get 2 key with him, but the tech one is going to give you the most attack output from the agility one. The only thing that sucks is they don't share any key links, so you definitely need to rely on a support unit for that. Again... Overall, in terms of Realm of Gods category, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku is going to be the best one to link with him, just link alongside of him, just because you get all the attack buffs and two key, um, and that's really bad. I mean, I, I, I kind of do leave out the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, but that's just because he does damage against himself, and he doesn't hit as hard once you have like a dupe path or base dupe system unlocked of the agility one. Uh, personally, on my global account, if I ever do pull this card, the Vegeta card, the uh, Goku card is 100%ed, so I can't wait for that. Maybe Who knows? Maybe he'll come out next on Global because they're doing things all crazy-like. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's just for the, the Realm of Gods category. These are his best linking buddies. Uh, you're probably, again, just going to want to go with that God Goku card. In terms of the Tournament of Power cards, um, really nothing's changed. We've already talked about all of them, except you also have the Angel Golden Frieza. So three or more key links over here. That's um, that's pretty much it. There's that. Uh, what does he link with him? With uh, Genius, uh, Super Radiant, or Fierce Battle, and Tournament of Power. So there are, that's three key and 25% attack buff. Honestly, actually, you know what? That's really not that bad uh, because he's getting three key with tournament of power with him. Then again, you also have the God Goku card over here, which is a nice, uh, just for straight out attack buffs, uh, depending on the type of team you're trying to run, obviously. But uh, the Vegeta, I mean, the, the freeze, it really isn't that bad. 25% and three key versus, what is that, 35%? So you're losing 10% of your key. Uh, but or your attack, but you're getting three key on top of it. So you might as well link him with the Frieza if you happen to have him. Uh, it's actually kind of ironic if you think about it, him and revived Frieza fighting together alongside on that team. But um, yeah, that's that. Uh, in terms of, I guess this is going to be just the, the pure Saiyans. Best linking buddies is the Super Saiyan 3 variants of himself and the God Goku cards again. So just talking about the Super Saiyan 3 variants of himself, uh, the tech one is Genius, Super Saiyan, King's Blood Royal Lineage, and Fierce Battle, so that's a 35% and one key. And then I'm pretty sure the strength one is the same thing. Yep, it's the same exact thing, 35% uh, and one key. So you can link them next to each other if you want to on his leader ability for his team. It's up to you on what you want to do with that. Personally, again, I'm probably just going to throw that God Goku up in there. That's just my thing. That's just exactly what I think it's going to be. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below about it, the, the linking buddy I have chosen for him as the God Goku card. 
Um, in terms of the rest for extreme, now this is essentially four or more for super types because I I want to do three. And if you go over here and you look when when you add three into this um, into this video, there's just so freaking many of them. There's no real reason for me to do that. I mean, we're gonna talk about the good teams and stuff like or uh, sort of good teams that we could talk about. There's a lot. There's just way too many cards here, and we're gonna talk about that too. But man, there's just so many freaking things that you can do with this team. Um, in terms of villains, these are villains that he can link with that are pure Saiyans. Uh, the old school Super Saiyan Vegeta cards. So you're really, they're not going to really hit that hard, but you can link them with them if you want to. Uh, you have, what is this, uh, three key and 10% attack buff. The physical one is Super Saiyan. Yeah, three key and 10% attack buff. You have the physical Broly which is going to be uh, two key and a uh, wow, 25% attack buff. Nice. Super Saiyan 3 Broly, LR Broly, and the TUR Broly. They're all, they all link with him. That the, the Super Saiyan 3 Broly is 25% and two key. LR Broly is 25% and two key. I'm pretty sure the TUR is 25% and two key. Yes, it is. So you do have some people to link with him. It's not horrible. Uh, two key is not great, but I mean, it really it depends on your box and who you have to link with him. In terms of villains, though, you can definitely have this on his team. They are Saiyans, they are pure bloods, uh, and they do do some decent damage, or at least the, the, these two over here, the Super Saiyan 3 Broly and the LR Broly do. Um, in terms of LRs, because uh, there we actually have a lot of them, you could technically run um, pretty much a full LR team if you wanted to that are pure Saiyans. Uh, yeah, you can actually, because let's see, 1, 2, 3, was that, 4, 5, 6, yeah. So you have LR Goku. Or LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, LR Super Saiyan Goku, and LR Base Form Goku, or Spirit Bomb Goku, LR Majin Vegeta, and LR Broly. And then if you have the LR Vegeta with, or not the LR, the TUR Vegeta Pure Saiyan category lead with one of his others, um, you can run him alongside of all these guys and you have a double lead. I guess I'll just throw this up in here right now. So that way we could, uh, we could take a look at, uh, there we go, boom. So this is the team that you would run if you want to run a full LR team. It's actually kind of funny. Um, so you can actually have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku card with the Majin Vegeta card. They share four link skills, and it's more than enough to get super attacks off. I mean, think of it. You're going to have six key starting out, and they have Fierce or, uh, over in a flash and Shattering the Limit. So that's five key right there and a 10% attack buff. Not great for the attack buffs, but they're going to be getting super attacks off all the time. And then you also have the LR Broly with the LR Spirit Bomb Goku. And those three, that, that's uh, three Link skills, which is three key. And, uh, well, it's just legendary powers. So there's no attack buffs there. But you they have three key. Now, I don't really recommend running this team because they're, they're not, they, their Link skills are never getting set off. LRs really don't link that well together with the exception of, like, these two. <laughs> I guess, really, that's really what it is. These two link very well together because of their key. It's only 10% attack buff, though. Um, but it, it's still, it'll be a fun team to run just thinking about it. Uh, LR Goku's kind of off over here in the distance. I guess he links with three key links with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, that's just because they share Kamehameha, which is a 2500 attack buff, which is kind of like meh. Uh, the Vegetas don't really link with anyone. Two key with the Majin Vegeta, or two link skills with the Majin Vegeta, which is one key and 10%, and then two link skills with the LR Broly, which is uh, Super Saiyan prepared for battle. So 10% and two key. Honestly, really, really not that much. Uh, it looks like he gets one additional buff, which is going to be the Fierce Battle when he's TUR, so I forgot to keep to, to tell you about that. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. That's only with the LR Broly. So overall, no, I'm not going to recommend running this team. It's just more, more for fun. These are the LRs that you could run on this team if you want to. You could organize the team around the specific LR if you have one. Um, just go ahead on to Dokkan Battle Builder. By the way, shout out to DokkanBattleBuilder.com for all of this information and to the wiki for having all the information I just gave to you about the card. Um, last but not least, we're going to talk about my favorite teams that you can possibly run. Now, we have a lot, a lot, a lot to talk about over here. Um, let's see. We have... Oh my gosh, I, I can't even, they're not even all on the screen because there's so many different freaking teams that you can run. One second. All right, so this is what I'm thinking, right? Uh, obviously, the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, you're going to have him. And uh, again, I'm just going to put him right next to his best linking buddy, in my opinion, which is the God Goku card. They share four key, uh, four link skills, which is 35% and two key. That's a phenomenal setup right there. These two definitely best buddies. They're going to be linked together. The next one is going to be the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Vegeta card. Um, I just kind of did that because they're Goku and Vegeta. Uh, you don't need the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta here. If you want a harder hitting unit, you could definitely throw the Broly up in here. Problem is, Broly doesn't tank well while he does hit really hard. Uh, the Vegeta will tank very well because of his Dokening. When he Doken awakens, he becomes a very, very good unit um, in terms of um, his his uh, passive skill, which I'm trying to get to you, but the freaking Dokkan Battle Builder freaking thing isn't working. 
attack and defense plus 90% up at the start of the turn. So that's really freaking ridiculous. He's going to be tanking everything. Let's get Broly out of there just so I can keep on going with the video. Um, I kind of also want to do this to keep the two of them uh, synced together, Goku and Vegeta, because the next one is going to be another Vegeta and Goku combination with the Super Saiyan Force. Six freaking Ling skills between these two. They're going to be hitting off everything. 10% uh, attack buff, two key, two key, two key, for a total of six key. Oh, they're always getting super attacks off. Uh, Fierce Battle and Saiyan Roar. So, like, they're getting 10... 25%, 35%, 40, 50% attack buffs, just the two of them, uh, having them linked together, which is freaking awesome. Uh, then you have the Khalifa and the Kefla cards, which link for five link skills together, which let's see over here, um, that doesn't want to translate. It's all key, actually, so that kind of sucks. They don't give each other attack buffs, but you get a whole bunch of key. They're definitely getting their super attacks off linked together. And you have the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock with the Easy A Goku. You can link the two of them together if you want to. Um, you're going to have the Super, was that 10%, 3 key, 15%, and 2,000 for appearance shattering the limit. Or appearance, uh, power bestow, or the, the Super Saiyan 3 limit breaking form. <laughs> and then the last one is going to be the Super Saiyan God Goku and the UI Goku for 4 key. So like you literally can run uh, such an amazing team. On the right hand side over here, I just threw some support units because why the hell not? You have Bardock, which is a good support unit. You have Buff Goku, which is a good support unit. And you have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which is again, remember, he is a support unit. Um, I'm probably going to run him on the team myself, too, if I do ever have this, because A, even if I don't link him up with a Super Saiyan 4 or Goku, he is a Super Saiyan 3, so he's going to do really well the Super Saiyan 3s on this team if you happen to have them. And I mean, if you think of it, look at this. You have Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. He links with those guys phenomenally. Like, they're just perfect linking buddies, and honestly, I'm definitely going to have those two on my team. Um, if you want to go a different route also, the Super Saiyan 3s, he links with the Super Saiyan 3s because he is a Super Saiyan 3. So you have the Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 3s, which make up more than half of the teams that I'm bringing you right now. Um, and then outside of that, you have the UI Goku, the God Goku, and the other Goku Blue and Vegito Blue cards. So, I mean, the, it's just, it's just, so this is such a phenomenal setup for team building. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's what that's my opinion on the matter. Let me know what team you guys have come up with that you think are really good. Is there anything that I missed out? The, the thing is, there's just like uh, let me let me go back over to the full Chrome view. I mean, this is just TURs for this category, by the way. No LRs, no SSRs, no nothing. I mean, look look at this. Look how ridiculous this is. The, there are so many freaking units over here for pure Saiyans that it's not even funny. I mean, like I, I don't know what else you can do in terms of team building because there's just so much to go through. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of fun. This category is really awesome. It's really OP and you have so many units to choose from. Um, I just chose some of the teams that I think are the most OP or the most fun that you could play with. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to sub if you're new and I'll catch you all in the comments below. Peace.